Hey everybody, this is Pete, and in this video, I want to address a question that came up recently on our tech support line about how to update materials for multiple components in an assembly. So the scenario is we've got a, an assembly and we had a, a material and something changed. Maybe there was a mistake or we needed to add additional information and now we want that material information to update in parts that already exist. So there's a actually pretty straightforward, well, relatively straightforward, non-programming way to do this. And so in this assembly, you'll see that there is um, a plate, a little tower, and a disc. So we've uh, created, if I just open up the tower for example, and you gotta have some fun with this stuff too. So I've created a ridiculous and strange material called Petonium, and <clears throat> uh, gives off a strange green hue. But yeah, this is a custom material. And so we've got multiple components in here, some made out of stainless, some made out of Petonium. And we've decided that, hey, Petonium needs a change. So what we would do is we would start up a new part, or we could do this in an existing part, but I'll just show you a couple of tricks here. And in this new part, we're gonna come up here to the material library. And I've already taken the time to add the material to my library. So there's Petonium in the miscellaneous. All edits need to be done locally. So I'm just gonna drag and drop it up here and then double click on it. And so we're merely gonna make a change where we come over here to the density and I'm just going to double it, right? So this will be a relatively easy change to make. Hit enter, hit okay. Now, we've made the change locally to get that back in the library, then we just simply drag and drop it back in and it will say, hey, that one already exists, what do you wanna do? Well, I'm gonna replace it. Because I've made the changes, I want that to reflect in my library. The kicker is it doesn't automatically update because these are local materials. So if I was to look at the local material here inside my part, it's still showing as one pound per cubic inch. So I mean, I could do the whole delete this, drag and drop it from here, but there's a faster way. So if we go back to the assembly and just to kind of give you a little bit of a comparison, let's see how the density affects our mass. So I'm just gonna grab a column grab the mass, stick that in there. Now you can kind of get, this is like our baseline because these haven't been updated yet. So inside the manage tab, there's an ability to update. So this is where you would update any of your sheet metal styles, dimensional styles, etc., from your style library. Well, there's also an ability to update from your material library. So you wanna make sure you're looking at the correct library. So I'll do inventor, or just use the out of the box one. And here's the checkbox. And I want to thank my colleague Chancellor for pointing this out to me because I, I had I had missed the checkbox. But if you click this, it will identify the components inside your assembly, the material that is now different, and it will give you a chance to pick and choose. Do you want to update some and not all? Well, in this case, I want to update both parts. But quickly note, it didn't list the stainless steel plate because I didn't change that material it's not listed here so you like I said you can be very selective if you see some materials that were changed but not others you can just click the ones you want but since petonium is the only one that's been affected here I say yes to all hit ok and it will say hey we're gonna overwrite the local style or that local material are you sure you know what you're doing of course so I hit yes and then just to kind of verify, if I go up to the Bill of Materials tool one more time, you'll see that those masses have indeed doubled. So on an assembly by assembly basis, you can make material changes using the regular styles update tool. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know and have a blessed day.